Dan and Kristen love living close to the water in Long Island, but are in desperate need to move out of their tiny two-bedroom rental before their baby arrives in three months. When I put this with their $450,000 budget, Dan and Kristen are ready to make an offer on this house, a three-bedroom, single-family home in Massapequa, New York, that's listed at $499,000. It's in a great location in Massapequa Shores. It's well-maintained, move-in ready. Mm -hmm. It has everything that we're looking for. But is this the absolute best house for Dan and Kristen? Before this couple makes an offer, two brokers will each have one shot to beat the house. JoJo Jones sells with her heart. Christopher Cromer sells with his head. I really want to get you guys to focus on real estate as a long-term investment. His goal, to find Dan and Kristen the best home their money can buy. As a broker, I understand that buying a home is one of the biggest and most important purchases a person's ever going to make. My job is to help them find the best possible investment for their family and their future. But Christopher is confident he can get them a better house with a better price tag. I'm focused on a house that's going to really maintain its value in five years. So I've been scouring Massapequa trying to find a better house for Kristen and Dan than the initial one that they liked. Everything that looks really good is not coming under budget. No, that's going to be too much. So I decided to get creative and think outside the box and find maybe another community that's on the South Shore, closer to the city, and that would still work for them. I found this great town called Baldwin. In Baldwin sits this charming four-bedroom home. I love this house myself, and I think they're really going to fall in love with it once they see it. Oh, I like wow. the fireplace yeah, in here. Yeah, beautiful fireplace. Very nice. The asking price is $405,000. Wow. That's $94,000 below the house you chose wow. and yeah. way under budget. So what I really took away from our meeting is that you guys are moving because you need more space. Correct. Right. And while the house you first picked is a beautiful home, I didn't feel that it met all your space needs. While it's on the same lot size as the other house, it's actually twice as big in terms of square footage. So from an investment point of view, it's a great price per square foot. Now, what I love about this room is you have a nice corner exposure, beautiful fireplace. And these are? These are not hardwood They're floors. Not, right? However, we're so under budget that if hardwood floors, if that's the aesthetic mm -hmm. you guys want, these floors can easily be taken up and replaced at very low cost. Okay. On the second floor, you have two bedrooms and one bath. The nice part, too, is you have the baby room right next to your master bathroom. I like that, yeah. Wow. Not too this crazy is an about interesting the room in here. Carpet on the floor. Well, I mean, you, carpets can easily be taken up and hardwood floors can be put down. But you can see it compares to that first house. That first house had three bedrooms, but you remember how small those bedrooms are. Yeah. Right. These bedrooms yeah, are nice much true room. bedrooms. And then you have your master bedroom over here. Oh, wow, it's spacious. It's a good size, right? You have plenty of room for a queen-size bed. I know closet space was very important to you, so I have a nice little surprise for you. Okay, Check let's Check it out. See. Come on in. What do you think of this, Kristen? Is this oh. enough closet space or what? It's a nice, wow. beautiful wow. walk-in walk closet. walk-in closet. The average cost to upgrade a closet is $4,400. So this walk-in closet is not only giving Dan and Kristen up to 53% more space, but saving them money as well. That corner for her shoes, this corner for her clothing. <laughs> He's already designing. That leaves Dan with a shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, I know a basement was very important to you guys. What you have here is a beautifully finished basement oh, wow. with a lot of room. It's currently configured with this huge living area here, plus two bonus rooms. Okay. All right, how's this for a kitchen? Wow. This is really nice. Yeah, this is a nice kitchen. Beautifully renovated. I could see a hunter's high chair here having breakfast in the morning. Yeah, it's got a nice little breakfast counter. A lot of space. It's open. It's just, you could breathe in it. This has a more size-appropriate kitchen and dining area. I just felt when you're dealing with limited square footage in that other house, the kitchen and the dining area took up so much of the house, and it was some wasted space. And cabinets and appliances with all the money you're saving can be easily upgraded. Right, exactly. Oh, wow. It looks huge. Isn't it spectacular? Wow. This, That's yes. a beautiful backyard is what that is, yes. That is really wow, nice. Wow, I'm surprised. Now, I know JoJo might be saying you guys can get a, a larger backyard and so forth, and this is too much of a compromise, but this is a beautiful backyard that gives you plenty enough space. Our one dog, Tia, is 75 pounds. I don't know if this is enough exercise space. Probably not for a 75-pound Tia, yeah. but you're 
Two minute walk from a huge dog run in a beautiful park. Right, that's true. I think Dan and Kristen are a little on the fence about the size of the backyard and the location. Uh, but I think the house has more than enough pluses to outweigh that. Most importantly, it's $94,000 less expensive than the other house. And I really want to get you guys to focus on real estate as a long-term investment. So you guys really want to find a home that you guys are going to grow into. And a big part of that, as you guys were saying, is space. And this gives you a lot of livable square footage, mm -hmm. which I think is key. Yeah. I know it's a huge decision, but I'm really confident that I, this is the right house for you guys and really will meet your needs for your growing family. All right. Well, it looks good. We'll sleep it over and uh, get back to you, I guess. Uh, fantastic. All right. Chris, we love the house that you showed us. It's got great space, nice master bedroom, walk-in closet, basement space. However, uh, we weren't too crazy about the size of the yard. Right. So, guys, it was a really tough decision to make, but ultimately we've made up our mind, and the house we're going to go with is... We decided to go with JoJo's. Oh! 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 I'm so excited for Oh, man.